Yeah, my wonderful people, viewers, and subscribers. Good morning once again and a happy weekend. Breaking news. Biafran separatists launch counter-attack in Bakasi Peninsula, killing joint six joint task force of between Cameroonian and Nigeria. They are, they don't forget, oh, some, some couple of days ago, there was an air strike at the um, Black Fighter Marines um, camp, which uh, deserted a lot of people, and they, they tried to destroy their camp. So, but nobody was killed. Only recorded was injuries. So now, on their only personal attack, they killed six soldiers combined of Nigeria and Cameroon who want to take the territory by fire by force. Knowing fully well that that place does not belong to them. It belongs to the people of Biafra. But because of their, because of their adamant, everything about Nigerian government and that of Obia is take it by force. Grab it, snatch it, and run with it. But they are not going to try it with the Biafran people. Otherwise, they are incurring the wrath of the gods. But I'm very, very happy that they are receiving Woto Woto. They are kissing the dust at that uh, area. And they said, according to an Igbo adage, or rather, according to a proverb that says, a child who said his mother or parents cannot sleep, <clears throat> that child can never see sleep. And also, another proverb says, he who gathers antifested firewood, invited the lizards for dinner please do not mind my voice i lost my voice that is part of the attack just focus on the message that i am passing through i know it might not be pleasant for you to be watching but please i beg of you as you have loved this channel please continue loving the channel and i want to use this opportunity or this medium to thank each and every one of you in any way you have contributed to the growth of this okute daily talk too may the god almighty chukwo kiabiyama I am saying this prayer from the depth of my heart. May he, the God, must surely remember you and meet you at every point of your need. Whether you subscribed, you like, you share, or you comment on any of my content, both negatively or positively, my prayer to you is that I wish you whatever you wish yourself. Because everybody wishes good for themselves. So whatever you wish yourself, I wish you all that. And I pray that the Almighty Tuko Kiabiyama will set Amen to all your prayer requests. Can I hear a louder essay at the comment section? Let us go straight to the reason why we are here. But the subject of this matter is the Biafran separatist group in Edabato, Bakasi Peninsula, grabbed another victory. The enemies are kissing the dust. So, take it to the bank. Hold it firmly. And know that coming uh, December 2nd, everything will fall in place. Like Urawa, no cause for alarm. Membership, not more than 200. Major General Adamu Laka. Femi Fanekai Odes, Lam's Israel leadership, accuses Benjamin Netanyahu of mass murder and ethnic cleansing. This monkey never said anything about the, the ethnic cleansing against the Biafrans, but he leave all the whole uh, all the whole problem in that their zoo, and he was calling on somebody that stayed far away, how many thousand miles away from him. That is how they are looking for problem that no those who never call for their problem. Just in Obiakpo chairman sends warning to Tunumbu over Wiki. Moving forward. Anger as House of Rep member displays millions of Naira online. These are the people who said there's no money. Look at how this man packaged the money. And this one is new new Naira no to no the old one. He made video and posted online. <laughs> oh, well, I know they finish you. You see him now? That is the politicians. Who are who are keep on preaching to the poor that they should tie their belt. Uh, that there's always a light at the end of the tunnel rubbish i beg let us go straight to the reason why we are here don't forget continue sharing this message until you get to the appropriate authorities bomb explosives 
had reportedly killed six men of the Rapid the Intervention Battalion following a deadly attack by the Black Marine, an armed group working for pro Biafra separatists at the Bakasi Peninsula. It was gathered that the separatists drove close to the military base with three boats when the bomb exploded. The incident happened around 6 a.m. on Friday morning in a Isangele stop uh, division of Bakasi Peninsula. This is coming less than a day after the government forces launch a strike destroying Dragon Fighter Marine Camp. More details of this will be followed. Lakurawas, they say it has no cause for alarm and they are shaking. Ndara. <laughs> National Coordinator of the National uh, Counter Terrorism Center, Major General Adamu Laka, has assured Nigerians that there is no cause for alarm despite the re recent emergence of the Lakurawa terrorist group which has been causing disturbances in Sokoto State and parts of the Northwest. According to him, the group's membership does not exceed 200 individuals and efforts to neutralize their threat are ongoing under the coordination of the National Security Advisor, Malam Nuhu Olibadu. In addressing the situation, Major General Laka emphasized the coordinated efforts of the military and other security agencies, affirming that strategic actions are being taken to fully eradicate this group. While the group has introduced new tactics and seeks to instill fear in our communities, I am confident that uh, with public support and a unified effort, we will overcome this threat in due time, he stated. Laka revealed that the group initially gained entry to assist communities in securing themselves against bandits, but later began imposing taxes and extorting control. He assured the public that the government will not allow such actions to persist. Their numbers are not as significant as people fear. They aim to, to spread panic, but we urge Nigerians not to fall prey to their tactics. The general expressed condolences over the lives lost due to the group's actions, emphasizing the importance of unity and resilience. He highlighted the government's proactive approach, which includes preventive measures, heightened security protocols, and advanced technology for monitoring and intelligence gathering. Our security forces are deploying their full might, resulting in the capture and the neutralization of many of the group's leaders and members, he added. To further secure the nation, he cited recent measures such as 24-hour surveillance of airports, borders, and other high-risk areas, underscoring the community to safeguard all regions of Nigeria. Laka expressed that public awareness and the cooperation play critical roles in combating terrorism, urging Nigerians to report suspicious activities and refrain from spreading unverified information, as this can inadvertently amplify fears. The Major General also pointed to ongoing efforts to build resilient communities through initiatives that promote peace and inclusivity. Many of our uh, programs under the Director of Preventing and Countering Violent Extremism are designed to prevent extremism at its root by fostering what they call unity across diverse communities, he said. Fadeka Yode slams Israel leadership, accusing them or rather accusing Netanyahu of mass murder and ethnic cleansing. Former Nigerian Aviation Minister Femi Fane Kayode has said that Israel, under the leadership of Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, is different from that of the era of biblical King David. Fane Kayode lamented that Israel, under Netanyahu, has become a violent Zionist state. He shared his concern via a post on his ex-account. 
The ex wife minister described the situation in Israel as cruel and barbaric. He also alleged that Israel, under its current leadership, treats Africans and Arabs like animals. The politicians claim that the current Israel seeks to exterminate Palestinians while dispersing Muslims and Christians. According to him, the Zionist state of Israel came into being through violence. It thrives on violence and it is sustained by violence as well. It is a cruel, barbaric, racist, genocidal state that, that practices appetite, that treats Africans and Arabs like animals, that despises Muslims and Christians, that seeks to exterminate the Palestinians, that has stolen and occupied the land of their neighbors, that takes pleasure in ethnic cleansing, and that delights in the mass murder of women, the slaughter of children, and the killing of babies. This is not the Israel of the Holy Bible. This is not the Israel of King David. This is a strange and alien Israel that has been established and colonized by white European settlers with the backing of the West and at the expense of the local indigenous Semitic population. This is not the Israel of the living God. It is the Israel of at Netanyahu and the Zionist state of Shaitan, according to Femi Fane Kayode. Obi Akbochiamano sends warning to Tunumbu over Nyesom Wike. The chairman of Obi Akbo local government area of River State, Chijoke Iyenwo, has warned Bola Ame Tunumbu to be wary of the Federal Capital Territory Minister, Nyesom Wike Ezenwo. Ian was stated while addressing journalists in his office on Thursday, November 14. His words, Wike had plans to run for president, president in 2027. Mr. President should be wary about Wike. His plan is to tell the president that I want to remain in PDP. Let me hold the structure for you. There, he will be doing follow-up on how to succeed the president. He did it to Amechi so he can do it to anybody. That is his uh, lifestyle. So I want to appeal to the president to be wary or very wary of Wike, minister of the FCT, according to um, Chibike Inyengwo. Anger as House of Rep member <laughs> displays stars of millions of Naira cash online. A member of the House of Representatives from Kano State, Aliu Sane Madaki, has come under fire after a video surfaced online showing him, showing him with stacks of cash running into millions of naira in his living room. The footage, which quickly went viral, showed Madaki, who represents Dala Federal Constituency, on the platform of the new Nigeria People's Party, NNPP, sorting wires of 1,000 naira notes stacked on a pile alongside two other unknown individuals. The apparent display of wealth has caused widespread disapproval among netizens, especially given the economic challenges currently grappling the nation. Many took to social media, particularly X, formerly Twitter, to express their anger and disappointment, describing the lawmakers' action as insensitive and tone deaf to the everyday struggles faced by ordinary Nigerians. With the scarcity still impacting daily life, a social media user, Pure Stanley, highlighted the disparity, questioning how Madaki assessed such a large cash why banks limit customer withdrawals. Almost all the banks in Nigeria are not dispensing more than two hundred, sorry, more than twenty to fifty thousand naira to their customers. Yet, Aliu Madaki has over fifty to eighty million naira in cash at his house. How? Which bank dispenses the money to him? And what does he want to use the money for? These are the kinds of people occupying our wheels of power and steadily impoverishing this country. Stanley wrote. Another critic, engineer YG, raised concerns about accountability, commenting, It is alarming to see politicians like Aliu Sane Madaki in office raising questions about accountability and transparency. 
This image of him surrounded by cash is sparking outrage, wondering how he tend to account for these funds. Another user, identified as all power belongs to God, wrote, I swear these people are the reason we don't see cash anyhow again. Just imagine, uh, and poverty in that region is extremely high, you... I don't believe Ali Usani Madaki can say this huge amount of money is for constituency project. Baba AGK wrote. As the controversy continues, netizens were demanding answers regarding the source of the funds and purpose it is intended for. Oyana, Ali Madaki, answer. Hmm. Tomorrow, people will still vote for him to go and represent them in their constituency. So what are we saying? Anyway, my people now here, we go take bar break. I beg you. I don't have more strength to shout because of my voice. Just like, share, comment, and make sure you keep subscribing for more interesting videos. My name is Siri Man. I'm Andy Anise. I'll be right back. Kemesiano.